So the mallet we'll use is right over there. Yeah. That's our precision yeah. tool. It's kind of crazy. It's that's one. That looks like Thor is a hammer. Yeah, it's sometimes. <laughs> you know what? Actually, pick it up first. Pick it up? All right. Yeah, it's, it, it kind of feels like it's, it's got a lot of heft to it. So. Ooh. So it's got, it's got a little bit of a metal core inside that wood. And then that heavy felt allows us to hit the, uh, the leg square mm -hmm. so that we can engage these locks because there's a, there's a male female lock. Yeah. And once we lock that, there's a wood turn right here that acts as the actual locking mechanism. So that's what Thomas is doing now. He's worked that in and now he's going to he set this lock here oh, so that okay. leg won't move. So that's what provides that stability once the leg is on. Oh, okay. Yep. That's awesome. Well, it is funny because a lot of times I have to pull the hammer out first and be like, just so you know, I'm not beating the piano just because. <laughs> Some days it would feel good, I'm sure, but you know, today. Yeah. <laughs> good stretch. Right? How many pianos have you guys moved? Do you know? Uh, well, in the. Just in the time that Jones on Somewhere in the 35 to 3700 piano range. But you figure we do a lot of sales for pianos, so yeah. every time there's a sale, that's anywhere from 30 to 40 pianos. So there's somewhere between you know, five and seven of those events every year. And then on top of that, we do anywhere from four to six a day, six days a week. Wow. Granted, we do have slow periods, but yeah, that, that's that's a fair estimate, I'd say. Although sometimes it feels like a million, but yeah. What upsets me more would be if I was to calculate the total weight of people. Oh, yeah. That would be, the tonnage alone would just, just make me shut it down. Oh, this one's like 600, I think, right? Yeah, yep. yeah. 600 pound range. Um, thankfully, with Steinways, you can actually go online and find the exact rate because they list them. Yeah. With other brands, like, say, Mason and Hamlet or something, you could find it out, but you'd have to, like, contact the technician and get, like, a piano guild guide or something like that. Mm -hmm. Steinways are very straightforward. They've done a good job of marketing, so they have all their piano measures are very easy to find as well. And another joy when you're when you're thinking about if you you know you have this extra room, so that's good. But if you were short on space, they have piano templates that you can bring home. So actually, yeah, that, so you could I so had you that. could like yeah. for a tighter space. It would have been something that just the exact copy of the outline of the lid yeah. you could place on the floor just to get. Now it doesn't help you with the height. But obviously, if that fits, you know, the footprint of the piano will work. Yeah. So that works as well. Yeah. I had it, and I was, like, trying different ways, and then <laughs> I was like, I think this is the direction I want. Yeah. Because they say, like, you need, like, two, like, roughly two feet all around or something. Yeah, you want space for the lid. You want, obviously, you definitely need the space on the key side to actually put a bench. And then, on mm -hmm. top of that, you'd like to showcase the, the, the shape of the piano a little bit, you know? Right. Because the curve is beautiful, especially... You're, this finish, I think you're going to be really happy with the finish once you get this set up and you see how the light works yeah. Did you know this this one, they actually have photos of it in Steinway? Of how no. they restored it? No, that's awesome though. Yeah, if you go if you ever go there on the third floor, it's right off the elevator and they show you the before and after oh, that's photos. Oh, it's at Jonathan's office, the technician. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to see that. That's cool. Yeah. So is this yours? You sent it to them for refinishing and came back? No, or, so okay, what happened was someone had it. Yeah. They restored it. They spent like three months working on it. This woman bought it and then she sold it back because she has arthritis. And so it came on the market yep. and then I got the email and I drove directly to Boston <laughs> and walked right in and then said, yep, this is it. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't awesome. even try any other piano. That's awesome. Yeah. So did you have previous, have you heard this piano before it was reworked or did you just know that this is the one you wanted? I just... I just knew this was the one I wanted. I mean, I, I went back and played it a couple times, but I, yeah. I, I knew this was the one, so. That's excellent. I love hearing that. I went to visit it twice. <laughs> 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 I, 
I missed well, it. Well, now I feel special and worthy. Thank you for letting us in the room. Now I know this, means, <laughs> this means something. I mean, for our perspective, you know, the main concern is just to move right get done safely. But it's always nice to know that there's a story. I mean, you got to love the movie. It almost unwraps itself. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, here we go. That's gorgeous. It's funny, too, because the different lighting of being next to the other pianos in there, being the finishes, yep. sort of took away from how great this thing shines in the I mean, The hue of the wood, that looks beautiful. Now, what finishes? That looks kind of a rose wood. Oh, I, I don't know. I... It's okay, man. It's okay. No, <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's, it's really wild. nice. I know, I know the woman... Help pick it, the one that did the restoration. Yep. Um, but the original color was much darker. It was probably closer to this, maybe even slightly darker. Yeah, this I, I think she made a great decision to do Because a lot of times, a lot of times, you know, it'll be just like an ebony, whether it be the flat, you know, the flat, like not glossy or the glossy. Mm -hmm. But this looks better. I like, I prefer. First, some some color to it. Yeah. Ebony's great, regal, but this fits better now. Yeah. You know? Well, when I was little, I always wanted. I thought I always wanted a black piano. Yeah, because that's what you. That's because that's. Because what that's what I didn't get, right? You always want what you can't have, Absolutely. and then when I walked in, I'm like, just, you know, all the other ones look so blah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, wait a minute. Okay. That's cool though, you just knew it. you're like, that one's mine. It's coming home with me. Oh yeah. Yeah, Liz was all like, she's like, I'm just gonna stay with you for about a minute and then once I like start playing, she's like, I'll leave you two alone. <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, Liz, Liz Diamond, right? The, yeah. She's awesome. Do you guys also, play? I, I can tell. I'm not very good. I played the saxophone growing up. Didn't really appreciate it at the time. Mm -hmm. I've made attempts with the piano, but sadly, my finger dexterity for moving is. Oh. You know. Yeah. I, I still have time. I've got the keyboard and the headphones, but I haven't graduated to a point where I can commit to like an upright. You know. <laughs> that being said, first chance I got, the first piano I came across that I could get my hands on, I got from my nephew. Oh. So he's been playing. He's 13 now. He's been playing since he was nine. He just happens to be one of those kids that looks at an instrument and starts playing, and he just gets it. Yeah. Which. I'm so jealous. I'm so happy for him. I'm so jealous of him. You know, it's like, ah. So I remember just, I remember when I was younger, asking my parents for the drums. And oh, yeah? Just, you know, laughing at me. <laughs> I was like, okay, I can just do that maybe a little aggressive. Yeah. Okay. Saxophone is hard, though. I had two friends that learned it, and it was just a lot of breathing really like techniques, the, right? Well, well, yeah, the little... I didn't like using the reed. I, like, I don't... Yeah. That's, that was never... Right. My lips always felt weird, even when I got kind of used to it. Uh -huh. um, maybe I'm just strange. But the, only, the one thing I can still play, I haven't played in years, one that I'm sure I can still pick up and play is one of the Saints from Because that was like my train. I was like, okay, this is awful. <laughs> that was the first song I learned, and it was just like, and I switched I switched instructors at one point. The yep. first one drilled that one into me, and the second one was actually nice to me. Yeah. But by that point, I had lost interest. You need the mean ones, I found. I think I had like three or four teachers. The last yeah. one was pretty rough. Right? She, she was, oh, I used to, I used to wish I would break something so I wouldn't have to play a recital. And when I actually did get injured, she said, so I walked down with the crutches and she's like, so I had to perform at school. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I injured myself in soccer. And uh, my foot, like it's, you know, I'm, you know, I have crutches. And she's like, what's wrong with your other foot? <laughs> Just shift and play. Yeah. Uh, like, um, I'm like, okay, this is not gonna work. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> she was awesome though, I liked her a lot. Yeah. Oh, I know, but it's just like, no, no excuses. And then if you, you, you have a legitimate reason, it's like, nope, nothing, nothing. No. Wow. It really pops in this room. Yeah, it really does. Now, Bobby, can you grab me for a second? Yep. Have you on this side? We're going to pull the piano back. 
into this sort of footprint. We'll also swing around and go back to Thomas as well. Slide this way just a little bit. Hold on. Let's get the piano. I mean, let's get the uh, bench. Pardon me.